Before we move on to some more complex examples of for loops in MATLAB, we first need to understand how series works and the mathematical concept of series. Now a series is a sum of terms of a sequence. For example, the harmonic series, so the harmonic series is one plus one half plus one third plus one quarter plus and so on and so forth. Okay? And you can have an alternating harmonic series, and that's one minus one half plus one third minus one quarter plus and so on. Okay, so those are two types of uh, different series. Now, if we consider a general sequence, so this is a general sequence of numbers. Okay, so we've got a1, a2, a3, a4 and so on, okay. If we wanted to make a series of these uh, of this general sequence of the first k terms, the sum of the first k terms, we have a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus, and the last term is a k. This can be denoted by the Greek symbol capital sigma equals 1 to k, of a p. So for example, if we said we've got the series of p equals 1 to 4 a p, this equals a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4. Or if we said that we've got the sum of p equals 2 to 5 a p, this is a2 plus a3, plus a4, plus a5. The fact we've used p here doesn't really matter because obviously if we had i equals 1 k a i, that would be equivalent to the sum of m equals 1 k a m okay they're the, all the same thing which is equal to the sum of a p equals one k a p okay it doesn't really work so the fact it's p and not i or m it doesn't really make any difference now the reason why i've included this is that in the in matlab notes in 5.1.4 we introduce a series as a as a as an example of how to employ a for loop okay and the series that's included in matlab is k equals 1, we've got 1,000, okay, and it's 5 over k. And that's what basically we want to work out what that what that series, what that summation is. And so clearly this is going to be 5 over 1, plus 5 over 2, plus 5 over 3, plus and so on, until we get 5 over 1,000. Okay, and that's what we're trying to work out in MATLAB. So this is a series I was... Uh, talking about so we've got the series between one and a thousand the finite series of five over k okay and the answer the question is basically how can we program this into matlab to do this um quickly and automatically so if we move over to matlab okay i'll make a new script okay so there's my new script okay and we'll call this um uh, finite series Example okay, and I'll save it. I'll give it just give it a finite oops, finite series dot m. Okay, I'll save that there. Okay, and uh, we've got a um, let's let's give it a, a name and an update date. Okay, which I'll give it today. Okay, and um, let's give it last name. Okay, and then we're going to include a variable dictionary, um, and there are going to be two variable. Um, um, that we're going to look at. We're going to look at uh, variables of uh, total, which is going to be the total value. Okay, and we also have k, which is our, which we call index. So like many scripts, we're going to clear it to start with. Okay, and we'll also clear the uh, command window. Um, so I'll just clear workspace and command window okay 
And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the total to be zero, okay? Because at the moment we don't know uh, what that's going to be, okay? And then we're going to write our loop. So we write four, okay? K equals one, and it's a finite series. We want to go to a thousand in this instance, okay? So total is going to be the value before plus five divided by k, and we end it. Okay, so what that's doing basically, when k equals one, it'll say the total is going to be what the previous total was. Okay, here plus five divided by one, and so and then it will go around when k equals two. This total here will have a value of five. Okay, because it'll be five over one. So then it takes then the next it'll update that value to be five plus five over two because k will be two the second time around and so on and so forth, 5 over 3, 5 over 4, and it will keep adding that to the total thing to get a total, and it will do that for a thousand times. Okay. Now if we type in, uh, let's just format long, okay, to convert it to long format, and then we'll display the total. Okay, so notice I haven't put a semicolon here. So this display um, a value of the sum to the command window, okay. And here, uh, set MATLAB to show 15 digits of precision. Okay, and this is our for loop. Okay, so this is our for loop. So this and this bit, like I said, adds previous value of sum to current value. Okay. So that's our that's our loop. Okay. Now, if we set set this to let's save this, and let's run this command. Okay. You can see that we're there. We go. So, um, in fact, I didn't put a semicolon on here. Let's do that and run it again. Okay. There we are. So you can see that the total value um, for a thousand digits is thirty-seven point four two seven five three five and so on and so on and so forth. Okay. So lines one to one to eleven, okay, are the standard header as we've as we've seen before, okay. Commented out um, the title, uh, the last update, and who wrote it, and then the variable dictionary. We've got two variables, total and k, okay. We then clear the workspace and clear the command window, okay. We then set. We initialize basically initializing is setting a value to the variable um, that's interesting. Okay, and we set it to zero, and you'll see why in the description for line um, 16 or line 17. So here we set up uh, line 16, we set up the for loop. Okay, so we've we got 4k equals 1 to 1000. Okay, so we're, we're, um, we're setting the sort of limits of our, of our sum. Okay, and the counter k increments up from 1 to 1000 in steps of 1. Okay, that's the, that's the sort of in the definition of a variable, one colon one thousand means that that sequence of numbers is one, two, three, four, and so on, up to one thousand. And on this line, the next line over, line seventeen, we set the value of total to be the previous value of total, okay, plus five divided by k. So in the first iteration, total equals zero, okay, it's up here, plus five over k, and k will be one. So to this value of total will it be equal to five? Okay, and that's why we needed to initialize the total here to be zero because obviously when the when this runs the first time, obviously it needs something in here, and obviously at the moment at, at that point total is zero. Okay, in the second iteration where k equals two, we have the previous value of total which we saw was five plus five over two. Okay, which would be seven point five. In the third iteration, k is three. Okay, so it'd be seven point five plus five over three and so on and so forth until total becomes the previous value plus five over a thousand and this line ends the loop okay we want a precise answer so that's why we've set format uh, matlab to display a full 15 digit um, uh, levels of pre precision and then obviously we want to display the total in the command window so we can see our result <laughs>